Jason, what's going on? We're so happy you're here. Why don't you stand to your feet? Hello, if you're tuning in from online, we're going to worship together. So let's get started. Stand to your feet, stand to your feet. Here we go. One, two, three. called Heartbeat, and all it talks is about is how we want to get to know God and be with God. So let's put our hands together just like this. Stick this out with us. Tell me all your secrets.
Here I go. Whatever I lose, all I want is to be here with you. I want to know your heartbeat, heartbeat. Show me how your heartbeat, heartbeat. I want to know, I want to know your heartbeat, heartbeat. Show me. with us you guys can take a seat Woo. Woo. that was so good that was so, so good. good thank you worship team man hi worship jhm team. my name is ryan this is my good friend juliana for those of you watching Hello. online we see you as well thank you for being here we are so excited to get to hang out with you at the 5.30 service. Really the best service. The best service. Right? Because we got online. We got people here. How are we feeling today? We got a packed crowd here and online. How are we feeling today, JHM? Give me a whoop whoop. Give me a whoop whoop. Give me that, a thumb, a thumb was, indicator. That was Where are we weak. at? If you're like, man, this is uh, the best day okay, ever. Okay, Juliana, we're going to try this again. Okay, okay. JHM, that feels how right. are we feeling tonight? Oh my we gosh, we got one. Got one. On, we got one people. online. How are you feeling? Tell us in the chat. Maybe you guys you be a little a, bit better get, than this your, than this in person crew. You need some sugar. You need to you need to get hype. Oh hyped. my goodness, my We're going to have so much fun. This is the last week of our Be a Wise Guy or Be a Wise Girl series, and we're so excited that you are here today. But we're going to start off with some fun games, and the first one is called be a match, I believe. Match it, I think. And we be a match, need match it. Two, contestants two contestants who are brave, who want to play a game and want to win a prize. Let me see you. Come on up, come on up. And we got, I, one, get one more. Guy, we got one more. I picked you last week. I see. Maybe over here. I'm one of these over here. Blue, blue hat, blue beanie. Here we go. Here we go. Tell us your name. Anna. Anna. And, thank you. And good sir. Thank tell you me for your volunteering. Name. We have Anna and Ian here. Anna Say and hi, Ian. Anna and Ian. So that was that was kind of weak, but okay, we're gonna pretend yeah, like you said crowd. hi, Anna. And Ian. Ian, why don't you go over to this TV that here? Side. Stand, Anna, in stand in front of that, that TV. That table right Just, there. That yeah, TV you go right on the there. Ground. Go ahead down there. So the point Explain of this game, game is Explain not game. called be a match. I was wrong. It is called match it. You are gonna look on the screen and try to find the two symbols that match each other. There's gonna be images on the left and images on the right, and you want to find the match. When you find the match, you are going to run to the center and click our buzzer, and because we couldn't find the buzzer, you are going to hand sanitize your hands. That is our buzzer. Because it is 2021. Hand sanitizer is important, Hand right? sanitizer is important anyways. Right. So you are going to run to the center and hand sanitize yourself. Yes. And, and the person to get three correct mm -hmm. wins. Wins. And they'll get to play Plinko yes. later. And if you are online, we want you to type into the chat if you know the ones that You're are the same type symbol. Into the chat. And the first person to type it in wins a prize. Wins a prize. On the one that we announced. So pay attention. Yeah, get your fingers ready. We will let one, you okay? know online. Let's go ahead. Okay, Anna, and start Ian, are you ready? With our first one. Here we Look go. For the match. What is the match? What is the match? When you know the match, run to the hand, when you Sammy. You are not playing. You are not playing. Go not sit this down. one. Not this one. This isn't the one where you can steal a turn. So sorry. Lawson. So sorry. Okay. What is the match? Tell us. Is it the ring? The, in the ring box? in the box. Is that, a, is that an engagement ring? You Ian can call it. Is yes. correct, but don't worry, Anna. One there point are for more Ian. One point for Ian. Okay, Anna, Ian, we know how to play. We okay. get it, right? We're getting okay. good. We're getting good. Anna, Let's see our second image. Here we go. Look for it. What look for it. Look for it. What is the match? What is the match? This is confusing. You can get crowd Use help. Use your audience. Use your I audience. I hear. I hear. I hear. I hear. Come on. I hear. Oh, oh. She's sanitizing Anna, her sanitize hands. Anna, your hands and tell us what, what you think it is. What is the answer? I think you said donut. Is it and the donut? Uh, 
It, it is the donut. donut. Good we are job, tied Anna. Good one, job. One. We are tied 1-1. One, one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special round. This is the third round, but this is also the online round. The we give you two rounds. times to get ready. If you are playing online, make sure you type in the answer. You do have type to spell it, it correctly, too. I am no dictionary over here, so you got to figure that out. But you know what? You have Google anyway. So okay, if are we you ready? see it online and you type it in first, you will win a prize. Here we go. Next one. What is what the is match? It? What, what is, is the match? match? Look for the match. Look for the match. What Look for is the match. The match? Oh! Ian, what do you think the answer is? Is it the bow and is arrow? Is it the bow and arrow? Boom! Boom. Ding, 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 ding. And if you got that online, you're going to win a prize as well. Okay, Ian, you have two. Anna, you have, have one. one. We are best playing to best, three. Of, best three, of three, so this could be the winner. Let's Here look at our we next go. slide. What Look for the is match. Look for the, the match. match. Look for the match. Look for the match. What, what is, is the match? Where what is, is the match? What Anna's is the match? Running. Anna, uh, tell us what it is. What is it? Tell us what it is. Three, two, two one. Is be it the mine? Be Mine? With the, some crowd help, I think and that she got is. it. We are tied, ladies and gentlemen. This tied. is our last This is a nail round. biter, this is Ryan. It. This is it. This is My it. My goodness. Who wants to play Plinko, ladies and gentlemen? Come on. Let's you're competing. So here we go. Our last slide. Last one. This is for all the marbles, all the Plinkos, for all, the, all Plinko of chips. the things. What is the match? Anna. Oh. Is it the lips? Is it the lips? With Boom! the come from behind victory, Anna, you will play Anna, some Plinko later. Awesome Ian, job. thank you'll you for play playing Plinko. with us. Ian, that really was good. so much fun. Really, really good. Juliana, do you know what time it is? I think it's time for what we like to call the impossible the shot. The impossible uh, shot. And to play the impossible shot, it either has to be your to first time coming to JHM here at Mariners Irvine, first or you time. brought somebody for their first time. Do we have anybody? Can, can I see some hands in the air if it is your first time coming Is it your here? first time ever? I see first a hand in ever. the back. I, I, I see, see a, a hand in the back. in the back. Is it your first time? First time. Oh, okay. First time. Okay. You do not have to play. You do not have to shoot the arrow. But if you would like to shoot the arrow, Juliana, yes. what do they win if they hit the impossible shot? You know, I think that they win this almost as tall as me life-size NBA Jam arcade game. It is a Juliana size. Check it out. It's a NBA Juliana arcade size. arcade jam arcade game. You win this. You get it's to take this home. It's not our problem how you get it home. We just give it to you. Yep, we just give it to we you. We just give it to you. You don't even. I, you can just do whatever you want with it. But you know what? Yep. That's your prize. If you make the impossible shot with okay. a bow and arrow, in the way back. Everybody, there take is a, a look behind target, you. Look behind you, you to that target it. in Ladies, the back. come on up. Come on up. You're you're doing great. You're doing great. What is so your great. name, ma'am? My name's Riley. We got Riley. Sophia. And Sophia. And Josie. And Josie, okay. thank you so much for being here here tonight. Okay, here you go. Here is our arrow. Here we go. So okay. you need to position the arrow in the bow. It's simple physics, really. Simple All you got to do is pull it back. And so you, put, okay, you place okay, it in. Let, Ryan, let why don't you help her yeah. out here? Okay, hold on. Here, I'll hold that for you. You have got to put it through the target all the way in the back. If you hit someone, that's there's grace. The Lord forgives. The Lord forgives. Okay. She said, "What if I hit someone?" And so, if you're in the impossible shot, range, I would be where I would maybe I would just like do a little that thing. Okay, but so you know what? It's okay. You probably want to position yourself where you feel like you're going to get the best angle. You got to okay? you yank it back too. I mean, it is not close. They okay, call it the impossible we, shot for a reason. Here we go. You can do it. And she is ready. Full muscles. Set, Watch your heads, cameraman. Set. Set. She is shooting. And, and she completely misses, you know, but it's okay. She got the speed. She got the height, but a little bit more to the left. Thank you okay. for playing. It's Thank okay. We so got much. more arrows. We're so glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. Okay, Sophia, right? Sophia, are you ready? You, you clip the arrow. Clip the you arrow. You pull it back, and you try Who to hit. Who thinks Sophia can hit The it? impossible shot. We have hear never We've had got one. anybody hit the impossible shot obviously otherwise we wouldn't have this game here oh Whoa. straight okay. to the back straight to the back pay attention we're at church okay so right, that was we a got close one more one. josie you got to save the day josie, okay this is for all the marbles this, do you want to win this game this you, is for you, you she doesn't she want she said i want this prize so badly she said i, I am take it going home to practice every day and come back every week because i love that's basketball. what she said i swear 
She, you know she what? said she's going to hit somebody. I told her to hit the, let, the let target, the arrow but go it's where okay. it may. Let the arrow go where it may. And we're ready. We're ready. Don't hit the camera, man. We have online viewers. I think you need to pull pull back a little bit more. Pull you back can a little do more. It. Really, you can do it. really, uh, there you go. Yep. Ready. Yep. You're doing set, great. Set. Whoa. Oh. Okay. You almost hit Michael. He's almost on staff. That Mr. Would not be Michael okay. in the Thank back. Thank you so much for playing, ladies. Thank oh, you for coming. Oh, we've got another. We've got another person behind you. Oh, we do. You. Is it your first, it's your first time. Okay, Ian. He thinks so. It's your Close first enough. time. Can we can get, we some of those get somebody arrows? to run and maybe get an arrow for yeah, us real we quick? Yeah. Uh, can we get an arrow get run back up to it. us? Anybody? I did not know it was your first time. Thank you Anybody so much for being here. Anybody that's got an arrow. If you can just throw it up. Yeah. Just bring it. Bring it on back. Toss it up stage. We could like. Online, Just if you could send us an arrow, yeah. put an arrow put in the an chat. Put an arrow in the chat, maybe. We'll catch it. We'll bring it on stage. Do we have any arrows? Do we have any? Any arrows? Ha -ha, oh, thank perfect, you. Thank perfect. You, All right. So good. Whoa. Okay. okay. All right. I got one. Here we go. Okay. Ian, find the right this, position. Ian. Ian, I have faith that you might you, you did might not win this. the magic game, but you got you to gotta yank it back, brother. Okay. Like, Who I'm, thinks I'm, Ian's got yank it? Yank it. Yank it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That thing is far. And... And Whoa, oh, it needed to be a, a little chance. higher, but you know what? That's okay. Thank you so much for coming. That is always fun. So good. So we'll be good. playing it again next week. Bring your friends. Bring your friends. Bring somebody who's new. Yeah. And you can play the impossible shot. You could play. Thank you so much. We have another game. Game number two of and the we, night, Ryan. We need a contestant while Juliana explains the game. I need yes. to find a contestant. So if you're brave and you want to play a game. Let's check it out. We are going Matt to play with the glasses. Matt yes, with glasses. sir. We are going to play a game called Who That. Say it with Come me. On up. Say it with Come me. On Who up. That. Emphasis on the dat. Okay? What is your name? Liam. Liam is going to start Liam. us off by playing Who Dat, but he doesn't necessarily win. He Juliana doesn't necessarily explain. win. So, we'll how the game rolls. Are you ready, Liam? Don't Let me worry. explain it to you. And crowd, you got to listen because you get to participate. So, we are going to run and online. You get to participate too when it we do true. our online round. So, we are going to roll a list of clues on the screen. There's going to be clues on that screen. Each clue is going to give you a hint as to who that is. Who Liam, that? you have to guess who that is as the clues roll. But crowd, listen here. You get to steal Liam's chance at guessing. So if you know who that is, you run up here. And if you guess it right, then you take Liam off of the hill onto the floor and you get to come on Essentially, up. Essentially, if somebody guesses... Before Someone you do, before they you. kick you off the stage and they come on the stage. So you okay. gotta get it right. You gotta get it right all the way into nope, the end. No, back it up, back it up, back it up, Zion. Back it up. Back they it up, can boys. dethrone you. Let's go ahead and online. see that first. Online, hold on. Online, we'll oh, tell you whoa, which one whoa, the whoa. online Pause. one is. So pay attention, okay? Okay. All right. Roll Let's take a look in. at that first clue. Here And they're we gonna keep coming. Go. I am a fictional character. You can guess it fictional whenever you want if you think character. you know. We'll keep it going. Keep okay. It going next one. Next one. Although I was born in England, I spent a lot, a lot of time, time elsewhere. elsewhere. Is it Harry do you Potter? Think you know it what is, it is not Harry Potter. Oh, not Harry Potter. My favorite sport is played in the air. Not Harry it's Potter. Harry, it's not Harry Potter. It is not Harry. Not Harry. Not Harry. The next one is... I go to Hogwarts. He does, but, you know, there's other it, characters in the Ronald. show. It's not Ronald. It's not Weasley. The, Ian, who do you think it is? It oh, is Draco, is it Draco Malfoy. Malfoy. Ian, Draco. you de Liam. Wow, Ian, you're getting but a lot of stage get time now, tonight. You're doing great so far. Good job. Okay, who's going to try and do something? You stay up here. You We're going to play here. the next round. Okay, next one. Next one. And look I at that. I am a fictional character. A fictional character I'm again. I'm seeing a trend here. You I'm guess it whenever you think you know Harry it. Not Harry Potter. The next clue, The next please. clue. I live under I live the sea. Not Aquaman. So sorry. It is not Ariel. It is not Ariel. You got to run up here. Run up here if you think if you, you think know what it you is. you know it, you run not up here. Not Ariel. I often, I often attempt, attempt things, things and, and fail. fail. It is a who? It Say is it? not Flounder. Not Dory. Not Dory. Good guess, though. Not Patrick. It not is not Moana. Moana. It is not Mr. Krabs. Not Krab. It is not SpongeBob. Not Mr. You Krabs. keep guessing. I work at a fast food not restaurant. Not Squidward. Not Sandy. Who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Is, is it, it plankton? plankton? It is plankton. Plankton. I'm awesome sorry, Liam. Job. You just got dethroned by Colton. Ian, you have been dethroned. We've got Colton up All here. All right, Colton. you got to okay. stay up here. Online. Online. This is for you, okay? This is the third round. This is the third round. If you get it, the first person to get it online, you're playing just against each other online. Just against you each other. You also will get to win a prize. You will win a prize. All right. Let's okay. look at our next clue here, Colton. Oh, I have a fictional, a fictional character. character. Who is it? Again, not Harry Potter. 
And we're rolling. I am I live in, in hiding. hiding with my rebel friends. Ooh. Anybody? And anybody? the next no, one. No, we're, we're, we're glued to the TV. I'm so fighting I am against fighting the, against the corrupt not, government not power. Not Luke Skywalker. Any, any idea? Not Donald. He says, no way, Jose. Let's see some more clues. Let's see some more clues back there. I'm really good with a bow and arrow. Really? He says Come Robin on. Hood. Oh, oh Colton, Colton, Colton guessed Robin Hood. Is Colton? Colton guessed Robin Hood, and it he is, is correct. Uh, okay, Colton, you are still up here. All righty, all righty. This is our last round. So, Colton, if you stay up here, you win, and you will get to play Plinko later tonight. If somebody knocks you off and they, they get will correctly, be the winner. they will win. And you let understand? me tell you, it happened last service. It happened they last got time, knocked the very off. last time. So don't stay up here. here maybe, do, maybe do. I don't know. We all right, go. right, let's go. I am a superhero. Next, Any idea? Uh, nope. Okay, next clue. I am part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Maybe the next one. Captain America? Uh, oh, I'm getting an I'm getting Iron Man. I'm getting Spider-Man. Nope, we're still going. I spent time in prison for being a thief. Spent time in Ant-Man! I'm hearing an Ant-Man. Ant-Man over here. Colton's and did Colton say Ant-Man? He did, but I don't know who said it first. I'm not gonna lie. Do we need to do a rock, paper, scissors? A rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Let's rock, paper, scissors it. This is for all the Marvels, boys. Are you ready? And and Roman oh, took the steal. Roman. A steal for the night, hey, Roman. Buddy, you just took the throne, and you're gonna you play Plinko later throne. tonight. Colton, you took the throne, Colton. That was a good try. I'm sorry, Colton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Close, 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 close. We love playing games. We love them. Great job, you guys. Online, if you put your first ones in the chat, we will make sure you get your prize, okay? And thank you so much for being here. What we love more than playing games is you guys, our students. So if you could go ahead, turn your attention to the screen, and watch this testimony video before Tammy comes up for our message. Hello, I'm Chris, and today I want to talk about what life groups have meant to me in the past two years. Life groups is a time when I put down all my school books, I go to church, learn about God through the devotions. My friends and I, we talk in the group about different things. Our leader, Angel, he leads the discussions in godly ways. Thank you. I love that. Can you guys give it up for Chris? I mean, I know he's not here, but I love watching those testimonies. That could be you guys. You know, if you have a story, we'd love to see it up here on stage. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, what's up? My name's Tammy. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing good, doing good. I loved the energy during the game time. I hope we can keep that during the message. I just love seeing you guys engaging. Uh, for our online audience, I, s I just want to say a special shout out to you guys. I lead an online life group, and I told them to come check it out tonight. So hopefully right now, pop it in and say, what's up? Um, but glad you guys are here. Glad you guys are here right in front of me. And we are this week at the end of a series that we have been in over the past five weeks. Do you guys know what it is? Shout it out. Sh yes, be a wise guy. And ladies, ladies, let me tell you, be a wise girl, right? Am I right? I mean, I feel like I'm saying, hearing guy, 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 and I've just been waiting for my chance to say, well, be a wise girl too. So guys, we are jumping in to step number five, and it's this. Love God. So what I want you to do, pull out your programs right now. For those of you joining us online, we're going to have one pop up for you as well because you get to join us too. So at the top of your programs, it says love God. So go ahead and already take a circle around love God because that's the dealio that we are talking about today. Um, so speaking of love, uh, there's some special holiday. I mean, You guys might be familiar with it coming up in about a week or so. What is it? You guys know? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Anybody actually going to admit you have a Valentine's in this audience right now? Oh, I, I see it, the couple over there. Well, Valentine's Day is a big deal in America. If not, maybe I would say the world, right? It's a time we show our love and affection. Anyone ever had a Valentine's before where you got a card or you decided to give a rose or something? Zion's got a smile. Uh, I'm, I won't call you out. Well, Valentine's, right, we all know what it means to love, whether that's a person or a thing. So for the next minute, I want to ask you guys, shout out for me, what are some of the things you love? 
What are some things? In the chat, I want you to put it in as well. We want to know. Family, dogs, what else? Turtles. Turtles. <laughs> this, uh, yes, yes, you have a pet turtle. I like it. What else? Couple more, couple more, maybe from s- animals. Okay, all right, all right. What about some things? You love yourself. I, yes, 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 yes. All right, guys. Well, we love things, whether it's video games, whether it's our clothes, whether it's our family or our friends and things that are more sentimental like that. Well, something that I loved as a kid was my stuffed animal collection. Uh, guys, I'm going to be a little vulnerable over the next few minutes and share with you about how important this was for my life. Do you guys know what a Build-A-Bear is? A -A Build-A-Bear, okay, kind of lame and cheesy. I know we're too old for that. But a -A Build-A-Bear, okay, so there's a store that is called the Build-A-Bear Workshop. And it was like my kid dreamland. I was like in a candy store every time I walked in. Basically, this is how it goes. You walk into the doors, and there are options of different types of stuffed animals. You choose which one you want. You stuff it. You put a heart in it. You know, maybe you say a little wish for it. You print out a birth certificate because you get to name it. And for some reason, as a kid, I loved collecting Build-A-Bears so much that I just wanted another like another and, and just like another. I just The collection kept growing a little too much that it became a little bit of an obsession. I want you guys to look at this picture. I, I brought this. This is me giving you a little entrance into my childhood life. Everybody go, aw. Uh, guy, take a guess which one's me. It's, I'm in the middle. So I'm with my childhood best friends. I know I've aged a little bit. This is where the collection began. And from that point on, guys, it has, I was probably your age, just, <laughs> just so you know. The collection only grew from there on out. If you guys actually want to know how, how big that collection grew, come and talk to me after service because I will not say it on this live audience. It's too embarrassing. It's too embarrassing. Well, uh, just keep you wondering. So my stuffed animal collection was so important to me. And i got to ask you guys, have you ever seen the movie Toy Story? Yes. All right. I'm glad we said yes confidently. Now, Toy Story is a Disney classic, Pixar classic. Um, and it stars this character by the name of Andy, correct? Now, now, Andy has this toy collection. And the story about the movie is he plays with his toys, but every time he leaves the room, what happens? The toys come to life. You guys know it. Now, I want to say Toy Story was kind of like my, my real life. Like, I, I kind of believe that it was the real deal. Like, every time I would play with my stuffed animals, I thought every time I left the room, they would come to life. Or if I shut my closet, they were coming to life. I believed this so much that I would rotate, like, which bear got to hang out on my bed because I didn't want to make the other bears jealous and stuff. So it was like it was a real thing for me. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Um, But it was a real deal. So I loved my stuffed animals. But just like Andy, he had a favorite. Who was his favorite? It was Woody. You guys know it well, Woody Buzz, you know. Now, I had a favorite stuffed animal by the name of Lambie. That is right. I, as a kid, was obsessed with sheep. Sheep. I know. So we are just getting darker and darker into my past. I'm really going to embarrass myself in these next few moments. But, you know, I know we love llamas here at JHM, but I want to spend the next five seconds convincing you guys that sheep are adorable. If you didn't think that they were awesome and so cute, just look. Look look at that. Look at that. I I got one more picture. One more picture that maybe, oh, my God. They're just so cute. I just think they're like this unrated gift from God. But you know what? God's word even talks about it. He says the word sheep over 500 times in the Bible. If you guys, that's a free little Bible note right there if you want to put that down in your notes. He says that over 500 times. Well, I was obsessed, obsessed. So much to the fact because it all started when I was five years old. When I was five years old, my dad brought home a stuffed sheep. And when he gave it to me, oh, I could not put Lambie down. That's right, I named my lamb Lambie. It's so clever, so clever, I know. Um, And it's to the fact that it kind of concerned my parents. Like, they were like, what would happen if Tammy lost it? Like, this would be detrimental to my five-year-old soul. And so they bought me a second one, just in case, just in case. 
Now, I want you guys to know when you love something, when you love something like I did with Lambie, I can look back and I began to see how it was affecting more parts of my life than maybe I would have hoped for or imagined. And, and this is what I mean. You guys, you, you know, you go to school and you have probably all heard this question asked to you a bajillion times. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? What are some, what are some things you guys want to be? Mac? What do, anybody know? What do you want to be when you grow up? Shout out some things. Professional actor. I love it. Super cool. Couple more. Couple more. A pastor? That's so cool. I love it. That's what your dad does. One, a professor in college. These are all cool things. And maybe you guys want to be a football player or a basketball player or a doctor. And now the thing was is because Lambie became so important to me, like I said before, it began to affect other parts of my life. And I went around telling everyone this. I want to be a sheep herder. I don't know why, but I did. I loved sheep. And this is, when I think of my future, this was my visualization. I wanted to be surrounded by sheep all the time. And I felt like this was goals. This was dreamland. Now, I want to give you guys one last example of how it affected my life. One day, my family and I, we went to a restaurant for dinner. And at that restaurant, my grandma joined us. And my grandma, she's sweet little person. She's like four or nine and just so sweet and cute and stuff. And she doesn't do anything that's mean. But my grandma, how dare she choose to order lamb? That is right. That is right. When I was five, I created the biggest scene ever in that rush. My parents were mortified because I just was going ballistic. How dare she order lamb? And so in order for my parents to ease the pain that I was facing, they lied to me. They lied to me and they told me, that she was going to eat cow instead. And you know what, it worked, it worked. I was okay with them eating a cute little cow, but not a lamb. And so you guys uh, are probably all familiar with the restaurant, Chick-fil-A, right? And uh, the way it goes is there's a cow that holds a sign and it says, eat more chicken, right? And there's not a single beef thing that is sold at Chick-fil-A. It is an all chicken thing. So what I visualized instead in that moment was it should look like this instead. Yes. And that is how I visualized my future. Um, eat more cow, not sheep. Well, guys, see, this is the thing. When something is that important to you, it begins to affect different parts of your life. And now here in junior high ministries, there's something that I know has swept over junior high, something that all of you guys love. Do you have any idea? He goes by the name of Larry, Larry the Llama. And this is where it began. I want to show you guys the next picture that we have up here. This began in the summer. If you don't know the story or if you've been around here the past couple of weeks, you would know Larry is a big deal within junior high ministries. Over the summer, we found a stuffed llama. It was gigantic. We named him Larry, brought him on one of our services, and the junior high crowd here went Wild. You guys were shouting, Larry, Larry. Who was there that night? Anyone there? Wow, like a good amount of you guys. And it was crazy. I know we were kind of scared on stage. Like, you guys are going a little too insane over Larry. He became a big deal. And so since then, we've rolled out T-shirts and face masks and stickers, some of the things you guys are wearing right now. Why? Because we love Larry, right? And our actions show it. So I want to chat with you guys as we look into scripture. What happens? What does it look like when we choose to love God? Step number five, how to be wise is love God. So here's our first point. When we love God, this is what happens. We find life. We find life. In Proverbs 21, 21, it says, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Now, I want you guys to circle the word life because that's important. See, loving God is extra special because he gives us what no one and nothing can. He gives us something called life. It's a thing that you guys are living in right now, yesterday, today, tomorrow. But he doesn't stop there. He gives us an eternity, an eternity. 
In Proverbs 10, 25, it says, when the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm forever. When we love God, we are investing into something that lasts forever. So hurricanes, hurricanes are terrifying, terrifying. And the reason for that is because they are disastrous. When they come, they will bring down homes, they will bring down cars, they will bring down trees, even people. And a few years ago, my family actually got hit pretty hard by a hurricane itself. I saw how that affected my family in some pretty significant ways. But what's crazy is the thing that can withstand a hurricane. So I want you guys to watch this video with me. Um, And (laughs) this is pretty crazy. Like the winds, the rain is so hard right here. But you just see these trees standing so firm. And why is that? Why is that? The thing is, is that there's trees that will come and they will fall down. But a tree that will withstand a hurricane is one like these palm trees. One that has a strong trunk that has deep roots, that has a firm foundation, that has a firm foundation. And the reason why this is significant, in the same way that the scripture tells us, that when our foundation is built upon making unwise and poor decisions, it will sweep us away. But when our foundation is built upon God, we're going to stand firm, like these palm trees, so that when those challenging things of life come, we will be able to make it through. Next point is this. When we love God, fill this in, we avoid evil. We avoid evil. In Proverbs 16, 6, it says, through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, evil is avoided. And I want you guys to underline fear of the Lord because that part's important. When I think of fear, I think of like scary movies or like walking through a dark woods. What are some of the things that make you guys scared? Clowns, easy, easy. Clowns are terrifying. One more thing. She, <laughs> she, he said sheeps. Uh, no, they're adorable, like the word of God says. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Phil, oh, fear itself, itself. Uh, another thing that I'm really afraid of is like balloons popping. Anybody, anybody have like weird phobias or something? Balloons popping are terrifying, are terrifying. But what this is talking about is not a fear like this. It's not a fear like this. When it says fear in scripture, who is the one that you fear? It's more so asking the question of who is the one that's in control of your life? Who is the one that's in control of life? Because when we fear God, this is what it means. It means we're recognizing that God is big, almighty, and the one that is in charge. And when we believe that, when we choose to believe that and follow him and the way that he will guide our decision making, he will lead us on the right path. He will lead us from evil. And so this leads us to the last point is this. When we love God, he becomes our safe place. He becomes our safe place. So fill that in. Because God loves us too. And actually more than we could ever ever imagine. And loving God isn't like me and loving my stuffed animals. I think we should put that on the screen one more time. Just just look how happy I am. It's just so much joy. But it's more than that. It's more than this. When we love God and he becomes our safe place, scripture says in 1810 that the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. So it's like he is the strong building that whenever we enter into it, we will find safety. In Proverbs 15, 29, it says, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. And what this tells us is that in life, we're going to experience good and bad days. But one thing we got to know is that he is a place for us to find comfort, for us to go to with our prayers. He is a safe place. So here's the deal. I'm I'm coming to kind of a close of our message. And if you guys have made the decision to allow Jesus into your life, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. Because when you go through life, you don't have to go through it alone. Now, if you guys are like questioning, you haven't made that decision just yet, please, please don't hesitate to talk to me or one of your leaders. Even if it's just some questions. 
Because this is what happens. When you go through those challenging moments, whether it's like your schoolwork is overwhelming or your friendships have been challenging or home life is just chaotic and you can't take it anymore, he is a place that is safe. He is a place that you can go to and ask prayer and you can lift up those things to him. So I want to let end by challenging you guys with something. If God is who he says he is, then this is super important. This is the last fill-in. Our, our love for God will be known by our actions. Will be known by our actions. So Proverbs 27, 19, it says, as water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. And this is kind of the visualization when I got I got when I read this verse was I couldn't help but think of Milan as she's staring at her reflection in the water and she starts breaking it into in song. And what does she sing? You guys know it. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? I know, I could, uh, it sounded really bad. But she's singing and it's super dramatic, right? And it's like this emotional moment for Mulan. But what it is is she's reflecting, she's looking at herself, and she's saying, is the person that I see matching with the person that I want to be? Do my life choices and decision match where it is that I want to be in life and what I know I'm called to do? Our actions, where we invest our time, our talents, our money, are a reflection of where our heart is. So I'm going to have leaders right now pass out this little thing over here. It is step into serving. And what this is, is we have four different opportunities for you guys as junior hires to step into serving, even starting today, starting today. And now why am I ending a message when we're talking about loving God with serving. The reason for this is because serving is that action. Serving is the product of showing what our love for God looks like. And so around Mariner's Church, what we're doing upstairs, you guys might have seen it, it's a thing called the ministry fair. But as we're, uh, as we're sharing this to our church about ways to serve and to get plugged in, I don't know if you guys realize, when you walk into Mariner's Church, there are hundreds of people that make this happen. Do you guys know, what are some of the ways that you can serve? Shout out some answers. Kids, greeting, what else? Tech, what else? Worship, so many things. Someone who's hosting, someone who's doing the parking. There's so many different things. And, uh, and, and, and this is the last question I want to ask you guys. Could you imagine what it would look like if everyone today said yes to serving? said yes to serving, what would happen? Guys, our church would grow. The kingdom of God would grow, and you can have a part in that. So on these serve cards, here's the four options. Mariners, kids, you can serve um, those that are younger than you. You can be on worship. We have the worship team that leads our time when we begin. Tech, right now, we have junior hires in the back. Amazing, they're cheering. And greeting. So four opportunities for you guys to serve. If you are interested in that, check this out. Fill it out. Don't, don't leave without giving this to us. We want to see it. So here's the deal. When you choose to love God, this is how it impacts you. This is how it impacts you. You, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, you will find life you will be able to avoid those trials, those evil things that come in your way, and you will be able to find a safe place in him. And guess what? It will impact more than just you. It can impact JHM. It can impact Mariner's Church. It can impact your family. So here's five ways to be awesome. Five ways. One, Accept correction. Two, turn from evil. Three, be generous with what it is you guys have been given. Four, choose your friends wisely. Guys, don't forget Muscle Milk Mark that we learned last week. And five, love God. Let's pray. God, I just thank you so much for this service. And tonight, I thank you for these junior hires. And um, God, I just, I just pray you speak to us where we're at, that if we have a relationship with you, that um, you will just call upon us of how we can take one step further into it. Because God, you have so much in store for each and every one of us. Um, and so I pray for the conversation. I pray for the rest of the time we have tonight. May it just be a ton of fun. And in your name we pray. Amen. All right. Woo, that was a good Here one. We Thank go. you, Tammy.
Oh, I'm everyone sorry. put your hands together. I just disappeared behind Ryan. Like, that was good. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. You stood in front of me for I'm a sorry. second, and I, I disappeared. I would always, my, my parents <laughs> would always say, our actions speak louder than our words. So that last point was spot on, oh. right? It doesn't matter what you say. It matters what you do. So I encourage you guys to step into serving. Find a place. Find something that you like to do. Do it with a friend. Do it with somebody you don't know, and you'll become friends with them. You will be so encouraged on how your heart changes. Okay, enough of that sap story. We All have right. some. We have some fun stuff we, to talk about. We have a some fun, fun stuff way to, to end our time. Okay, so guys, um, well, we ha over the past five weeks have done something called a Larry the Llama punch card. If now, you have your punch card with you, hold it up. Anybody? Anybody? Here's the deal, guys. If you, I know, I know we ended it last week, but if you are mm -hmm. still waiting to redeem some of those things, don't miss your chance. Basically, what it is, if you have chosen to show up to our junior high service, that means you can walk away with one of our Larry the Llama. Larry the Llama. Memorabilia, you know. It's, uh, we got t-shirts, we got face masks, we got stickers. We got galore, and some people in all. the audience are featuring it all, and it's beautiful. We see some hats. I see some shirts. It's beautiful. We love Larry Probably a here. face mask out there. Love and Larry. And stickers galore. So yes. So if you need that after in the back, you'll go over there. Yep. But now it's to the fun part, but right? But now to the fun part, some giveaways. If you were a winner earlier, why don't you come on up I right now? We Anna also we and have and yes, Roman. Anna Roman. But before we do that, let's Whoa. do a let's do a little bit of a raffle. When you guys checked in, give a little wave of your name tag. We want to see it. Everyone, point to your name tag. For those give of you in our right online here. audience, you're also in this. But first, exactly. we're gonna do our in person audience. Here we go. Let's mix up those names. And if you guys see your name, why don't you give us a little like llama scream? I don't know what that sounds like, but it just sounds give me right. A llama you know, scream. give a llama scream. Yes. I yes, it's kind of like okay. a ah, I don't know. All right, on the count of three. Three, two, two one, stop. stop. Arden. Arden. Where's she at? I saw her earlier. Oh, Where there we go. You? All right, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. And uh, we're going to do one more raffle. And this is for our online audience. If you are here, you're hanging out with us. Again, if you're online. We're glad you're here. So let's spin up those names. And for our, our in person audience, why don't you still go ahead and give us a Come little on. llama scream? Let me hear it. Because that llama was entertaining. Scream. Mac. <laughs> I kind of want to invite Mac to just All do right. scream the mic. Three, two, two one. one. Step. Kayla, Kayla Simba. Simba. Well, Kayla, All congratulations. Right. We're going to be sending you a gift card. Thanks for hanging and out. And Tammy, I got a surprise for you. I'm putting you on the spot. Okay. We, all of our online winners that participated huh. in the games, your names are going to be raffled right now, and you are also going to win. So if they oh. participated online and they got the answers correct, your okay. name was put into a hat. We're going to spin I your names right like now, it. and you could also uh, win a like game. It. So this let's see good. who wins that. Three, two, two one, one, stop. stop. That, that bubbles. You were good at the games, bubbles. and you, you won yourself a prize let's give it up as for well. That bubbles. So thank you, online viewers. But I don't know. I'm we're just gonna so play some Plinko right now, and All I right. just gotta say, I was made for this game. You see how tall that board is? Some people were made. Oh, uh, they don't even want me. Plinko. Okay, Tammy. Some people were made for. We can I get her know. a step stool. I don't know what I was made for. Okay, so animals. let's let's go through the prizes here real quick. We have a oh, llama is, calendar, a 2021 20, llama calendar. We also have an Amazon gift card because everybody loves Amazon. We have a llama, llama ceramic, ceramic paint your own llama. And let me tell you guys, Beautiful. Valentine's Day is next weekend. Oh. So your Valentine, I know. he or she doesn't want candy. He or she doesn't want a nice little funny joke. They, they want, want a painted a llama. Ceramic llama. So this is what you want to win. I we like also that. have, in <laughs> case you get your heart broken on Valentine's Day, we have some Band-Aids <laughs> that are llamas because Might need some recovery. everything is llama. Like and that. finally, we have a hooded blanket. Whoa. And let me guess. Wait, that's adorable. It's also a llama. It Can is adorable. It will not fit me. Wait a me. second. Maybe I need it to buy one of It says for those. adults and kids. Sold so on Amazon. Don't let your parents steal it. And that's <laughs> on the end. So it's amazing. Who is our first contestant for um, Plinko? Let's start on this side. Arden. Perfect. Um, you know, she gave me the Plinko chip, and I just mockery, mockery. I'm going to put it's, it down oh, because okay. I think some people were made for things and do other it? people you want me to do it? You're not tall enough. Okay. <laughs> well, you can tell me. Wh what do you want to win? She wants the Amazon gift card. She doesn't, she doesn't want anything llama, but 
I'm pretty sure I she know. wants a ceramic we, llama we so mama, she can mama, paint. Mama. It's okay. We're going to find Amazon. out. Where do you want me to put it? Right here. Are you really? sure? Are you positive? Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. Let's play Plinko. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, it's it's looking Ow. like the Amazon. Uh, oh. You win the ceramic llama. I don't know if you Who wanted it. Maybe for yourself. You could give it to that special someone. Other. It could be your parents. Just give it to your parents. Yeah. That's fine. They deserve it. They deserve it. Okay. You can't win the ceramic llama. I'm so sorry, but you're deft in our llama gear. Can we get a round of applause for all of the llama gear? She comes to church, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Plinko, have, are you like, ready? What do you want here. to win, Anna? She wants the blanket. Where would you like me to put the Plinko chip? Right here? Are you sure? Okay. Three, two, one. Let's play some Plinko. Oh. Oh, it's off to a good start. It is oh, looking oh, no, like it could be. No. Oh, no. Anna. But you it's know what? I feel like nothing. we hang out on this stage way too often. So Anna, go take you a get seat. a round of applause. Congratulations for joining That's us. That's all you get. You get a round of applause. And Roman, you and stole the show one. with our second game. At the very Roman. end, you got it. What what prize would you like to win? Do you want the blanket, the band-aids? The he says he honestly wants the blanket and the band-aids and the I calendar. I want the blanket. Where do you want me to put the Blinko chip? Right here? The other end. Oh, the, all the way over here. I could reach that, right but here. I won't. Are you sure? Yes. Three, two, one. Plinko. Here we go. Oh, oh man, this chip does oh, not know where Roman, it wants to go. I You're getting the, the blanket. That's amazing. You are Guys, staying give it up plenty for warm tonight. Give it up for Great Roman. job. Give it up for all of our friends all here right. who got to play some games. All right, all right, friends. Well, as you leave today, I got one more thing I got to tell you about. This is a little 31 day devotional book list. Pretty Ooh, legit. That's pretty cool. Bound and everything. Now, as we end our series of How to Be a Wise Guy, if you guys are interested in or wanting one of these, wise go girl. ahead. Oh, or girl. There yes. are wise girls yes, out there. Yes, yes, yes. So if you guys are wanting one of these, go ahead to the back and grab one of your own. It's pretty awesome. Uh, also, if you guys have one of those serve cards you filled out, drop it off to one of the leaders and we will take those from you. All right, guys, we will see you in seven. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you for participating online. We love you. We'll see you in one week. Have a great night.